Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a first impression on a very interesting um, skincare item, which is this My Juicy Cup modeling mask. Um, this is from a brand called Cynic, which is again a Korean brand. Um, and this product basically is a rubber mask in a cup. So if you're interested in this product, please keep on watching. So if you don't know what a rubber mask or a um, modeling mask is, it's basically a mask. You mix it into a thick paste and then you apply a really thick layer all over your skin. When it's dry, it's going to dry out like a um, rubbery kind of texture. Hence, you call it a rubber mask. Um, the major difference between a rubber mask and all different kinds of masks out there, like sheets mask, jelly mask and gel mask, is that um, because it's dry out like a rubber, so it acts as a barrier between your skin and the outer environment, especially the air. Um, so it kind of forces the skin to absorb all the good stuff in the mask, per plus all kinds of different skincare products you apply beforehand. Um, that's why you went on a um facial trip to like in the salon they usually like put a rubber mask at the last step of your facial because it helps your skin to absorb the good stuff before the air dry out everything um so yeah i have three juicy cups in front of me the packaging is just oh, amazing like i like them already because um usually when you go out um, and buy some rubber mask it will usually come in a really big pack so you have to measure how much powder you need how much water you need but with these cups um, one cup is for one application um, and it also comes with a spatula inside can you hear it and also it has a like water indicator thing so you know exactly how much water you need to put into the cup um, so yeah, which one should I try? Um, I have a green one. This is called the green juice. It's for moisture and soothing. Um, I also have a pink one. This is like a berry kind of juice. It's called Vita juice, like vitamin. Um, this is for vitality and tone up. So I think it's for brightening. And last but not least, I also have the yellow one. This is like mango and banana. It's called the healthy juice. It's for nourishing in and elasticity. I think I'm gonna try out the the basic moisturizing one. So I'm gonna try out the green juice. So let's get started. So I just peeled off the outer packaging and then there's a lid thing. It just looks like a yogurt. I'm gonna peel it open. Oops. <laughs> Can you see there's lots of powder? You have to be careful. The powder's everywhere. Let me smell. It doesn't really smell like anything. But yeah, there's a spatula inside. Look at this spatula. I think you can like um not just mix the powder and water together with the spatula, you can also like apply it because it's quite like fat here. So you can also like apply the mask on your face with the spatula. So like I said, there's a water indicator here. So I'm going to pour some water. And I have a glass of water and then I have to like look at the line. Oh, by the way, I've already like cleaned my face um, and applied some toner and I'm going to mix, mix, mix. So I think this is all right. It's quite smooth. It's like cement. <laughs> so now the mask is ready. I have to hurry up before it dry up. Um, like I said before, if you apply some skincare products um, beforehand, the mask will help your skin to absorb the product. And I just realized from the packaging, it also says that before applying the modeling mask, apply essence or ampullate on the face for better effect. So I'm going to apply some essence. This I got from a Japanese mask, like face mask kind of set. This is a... Um, brightening and moisturizing essence to put before applying the mask. 
and there's some gold flick in there can you see it's quite pretty and I think it works quite well um, so I'm going to apply some this is quite liquid though, so I'm going to apply more it's dirty mix 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 and then apply Ooh, it's quite thick actually so I don't have to worry about like it running down my face so it's quite good So I just finished applying the mask and it's actually messier than I think because my hands right now is quite dirty. Well it could be just me being clumsy as always so um, not to worry because I could always wash it off easily. So back to the mask. Um, the mask in terms of texture is actually quite thick already which is a good thing because you don't want it to run down your face and all over your body when you're applying it. So thumbs up for that. Um, smell wise, it smells really fresh. I like it. It smells almost like a cucumber. I like it. <laughs> so, how long do I have to wait for? Um, let me see. It says I have to wait for 15 to 20 minutes and I could remove it and then wipe off any residue and then apply basic skincare. So, I'm gonna wait for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll be back. Oh no. I'm just looking at the viewfinder, you know what I look like now? I look like an avocado. It's like guacamole woman. <laughs> I can't laugh. It's really tight now. So now it's been around 15 minutes and the mask is already dried. It feels really interesting. It's like rubber really. I'm gonna try zoom in. Like can you see? It's really interesting. Look. It's a bit squishy on the thick area look at my nose it's like a, a new nose and then like it cracked if I talk as you can see yeah it's really interesting so now I'm gonna try peel it off or the here is quite thin so I don't think I could peel it off in the one piece It's actually really easy to peel off on a thick layer like if some area that's like quite thin like around the edges is like quite difficult to get off. So now I'm going to take some toner and a cotton pad and then remove the residue. So now I'm back with my clean face. I have to admit that I just went to the kitchen and had a slice of pizza because I was so hungry. <laughs> anyway, um, I cleaned my face. Well, basically the edges of the mask on my face. So the eye area, um, the mouth and the outer area of my face because that's where the residues were. Um, I really like the mask because um, I didn't tone or clean the center part of my face at all. But it already feels really moisturized, um, soft, soothed, and it just feels really fresh and nice. Um, I can't tell that if it's the effect from the essence that I put on or the actual mask itself, but I do feel that the mask helps my skin to absorb what's in the essence because when I peel the mask off, um, my face is not wet or sticky. Um, when I usually use the essence with the mask that it came with, um, my face would feel a bit sticky but this time it didn't and so yeah I think this is a really really good rubber mask because like I said it does its job really well and it's really easy to use and user friendly because you don't have to get an extra um, bowl or a spatula there you are you have a cup and a spatula and yeah so this is the end of my video if you like it please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos i'll see you next time bye bye